Hey, Michelle? Your little girl, Riley, was standing outside my house crying. What's going on? Oh, I'm sorry, Nicole. I forgot to message you, Wall. I'm so glad you were home and noticed her. But what's going on here? Why is she here? Why would she be alone outside my house at this hour? In fact, when did she get here? She felt so cold when I let her in. Hmm, well, let's see. I left my house this morning around 5.30, so... We probably got to your house around 6 a.m., I suppose. What? So she was waiting outside my front door for nearly an hour and a half? It may be summertime, but the mornings are really cold. Why would you not speak to me before leaving your daughter here? She's only four years old! She can't reach the doorbell! Are you insane? And I was sleeping at 6 a.m. There's no way a four-year-old girl could knock loud enough to wake me up. My bedroom is on the other side of the house. It's not even just that it was cold out there. Someone could have come by and easily taken her. Yeah, yeah, but nothing bad happened, right? So what's the big deal? Don't get so angry over nothing, lol. Over nothing? Anyway, back to the subject at hand. I'm sorry for not giving you any notice, but I need you to take care of Riley for me for a few days. I should be back three days from now. Huh? Three days? That's quite a request with no notice at all. But I've already left her there. And my husband is overseas on business right now. I'm going on a short vacation. You're the only one I could get to look after Riley for me. Come on. We're friends, right? Help me out! Please? I'm sorry. I can't. You'll have to get her grandparents to take care of her. Your husband's parents live about 30 minutes or so from here, right? I think I recall you telling me that once. Yeah, but I can't do that. Because I'm taking this vacation with my sweetie. Huh? What are you talking about? Didn't you just tell me your husband is overseas on vacation? And if you are going with your husband, why wouldn't you take Riley with you? No, no, that's not what I mean, lol. My sweetie isn't my husband, lol. I mean my boyfriend. Huh? Your boyfriend? So what you're saying is you're... Are you... Are you cheating right now? That's why I can't tell my husband, and I definitely can't tell his parents. You can't tell anyone about this either, okay? But you can't do that! And it's not just that. You can't secretly drop your kid off at someone's house and expect them to take care of her. Do you not see anything wrong with that? Don't judge me. I'm sure my husband is off fooling around while he's away on his business trips, too. Us girls have to relieve some stress, too, you know? <laughs> Lol. I'm sure my husband understands that. So don't worry. Everything's fine. I really doubt your husband would be okay with any of this. <sighs> Look, I don't want to get in the middle of you and your husband's life. So don't bring me into it like this. I don't want any part of what you're doing right now. Why are you being so cold to me? We're both parents. We should help each other out. Anyway, I've already checked my bag at the airport, so I can't go home now. Take good care of Riley for me, okay? What do you mean, take good care of her? I haven't agreed to this. And you want me to look after her for three days? You didn't pack her a bag or anything. She has nothing with her. What about a change of clothes? And money for her food? Monday isn't a holiday. She has preschool on Monday, doesn't she? Ah, I forgot to pack her bag. <laughs> Lol. Ah, well, it's no big deal. You have a kid too. Just let her wear some of your kid's clothes. Riley won't care that they're boys' clothes. <laughs> Lol. And you can drop Riley off at preschool on Monday. If you do that, you're really only looking after her for two days, right? So, no problem! Lol! And as far as money for food... A four-year-old doesn't eat very much. You won't even notice any extra food is gone. 
That's why I didn't leave you any money for food. Tell you what, I'll buy some really nice souvenirs for you, and we'll call it even. Well, let her wear some of my son's clothes. My son is only two years old. His clothes won't fit her. And are you saying you had no intentions of paying me for Riley's food or for looking after her for three whole days? How good of friends do you think we are? This is ridiculous! It's only three days, and you expect me to pay you? Ugh, I had no idea you were that cheap. And if your son's clothes won't fit her, just give her one of your shirts. An adult's t-shirt will be like a full dress for her. She'll think she's a princess. She'll love it. Problem solved. It's not just that. I don't know anything about your daughter. Does she have any allergies? Any medical problems? If something happens to her, who am I supposed to call? Nicole, I told you. It's only for three days. Everything will be fine, lol. You worry too much, lol. But what if something does happen? I can't do this. I'm not looking after her. If you're not going to come back for her, I'm going to take her to your husband's parents' place. Give me their phone number. Huh? If I told you that, they'd know I was cheating. Lol. <laughs> I don't want my husband to divorce me, so... No. Lol. I'm not giving you their number. Lol. Quit screwing around! This is serious! I told you! I can't come back now! My bag is checked and I'm boarding the plane. It's a domestic flight, so things are really fast at the airport. <laughs> Sorry, lol. So stop complaining and just look after her for a few days. I'm telling you, you better quit screwing around. At least give me an emergency number in case something happens. If nothing else, give me your parents' phone number. Oh, it looks like my cell phone battery is dying. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to shut off my phone now. Give Riley a kiss for mommy. Have a good weekend. Bye. Lol. Michelle, wait. You can't do this to me. Hi, Nicole. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm almost back. I brought lots of souvenirs for you. Michelle, what have you been doing this whole time? I called and messaged you so many times, but you never answered me once. Sorry about that, lol. The notifications on my phone started getting really annoying, so I blocked you, lol. I just unblocked you now. What? You blocked me? What if something had happened to Riley? Were you not worried about her? What if there was an emergency and I had to get a hold of you? You drop your daughter off unannounced at someone's house. Then you block that person from contacting you? You did all that just so you could focus on your sleazy vacation? Are you not ashamed of yourself? You're horrible. What's the big deal? Nothing bad happened, did it? I'm on my way over to pick up Riley now, so don't get so angry. Thanks for taking care of her for three days. I knew I could count on you. Thanks to you, I had a fantastic time with my boyfriend. We're driving back from the airport now. Get Riley ready. I'll be there soon. She's not here. Your husband already came and took her back. And I don't know where you're coming back to, because your husband said he's moving out. Huh? The very first day you left Riley here, I got in touch with your husband and his parents. He rushed all the way back from overseas. Your daughter is at your husband's parents' place right now. Your husband hired a moving company to clean out his house. He said he's moving back in with his parents until everything gets straightened out. He was pissed. What? Why? How did you get a hold of my husband? He's overseas! I didn't give you his number! First, I went around asking all of your neighbors if they had his number. Nobody knew it, so they suggested I contact your daughter's preschool and see if they had an emergency number. I talked to the owner of the preschool. They didn't have his overseas number, but they suggested I tried his social media. I should have thought of that first, because he responded right away. How dare you! I told you not to tell my husband or his parents what was going on! Why would you do that to me? I told you. I know nothing about your daughter's medical history. I don't know if she has any allergies or anything. And I told you I would not look after her for three days. 
What part of that didn't you understand? But I told you everything would be fine. That meant Riley didn't have any conditions you needed to worry about. Why are you so high-strung? It was only three days. There was nothing you needed to worry about. You can't guarantee nothing will happen. You can't guarantee she won't fall and hurt herself. If something happened to her in my house, who do you think would be responsible for it? You didn't ask my permission, and you didn't even pack a bag for her. I'm not going to be responsible for your child. Why wouldn't you have taken her to a family member's house? I told you why! I didn't want anyone in our family knowing what I was doing! If anyone knew I had a boyfriend, it would eventually get back to my husband! He'd divorce me if he found out! Oh yeah, you're right about that. That's exactly what he said when I told him about it. About your sleazy, cheating vacation. What?! He wanted to know why you left Riley with me without my permission. I told him exactly what you were doing. I even sent him screenshots of our chat history. I told you, your husband is moving back in with his parents. What did you think I meant by that? He's getting the divorce papers ready right now. You're kidding. This is a joke, right? This is not happening. Why would you tell him? The right thing to do would be to keep a secret! All I did was answer his questions. And why did you think I wouldn't tell him anyway? You're horrible! I thought you were a pushover. You've never stood up to anyone before. I chose you because you're the most timid person I know. You tricked me! You did exactly what I told you not to do! You're not shy. You're mean. I'm mean? Take a look at yourself and what you did to your daughter and your husband. If you find an abandoned child, the first thing you do is contact the child's parents, right? I did what anyone would do. Are you telling me you dropped your daughter off at my house simply because you thought I was too cowardly to not do anything about it? Also, you could sleep around on your husband while he's away working overseas? You're the coward for doing all that behind your husband's back. Shut up! If he divorces me because of you, I'm suing you! I'm gonna spread so many rumors about you. Everyone you know is gonna start hating you. No one will ever talk to you again. You can't do any of those things. He can't sue me for telling the truth, and everyone is already on my side. What do you mean? Do you have a problem with reading? Because you don't seem to be understanding anything I write. I told you, when I was trying to get your husband's contact info, I went around to everyone in your neighborhood, and to your daughter's preschool. I told everyone exactly what had happened, and why I needed his contact info. Everyone knows you're cheating on your husband, and they all know how you abandoned your daughter. What?! You told everyone what I did?! How dare you! You're horrible! I hate you! You better go around and tell everyone you were mistaken! You better take back what you said about me! That's impossible. Everyone already knows. I even showed a few of the people our chat history. They all know it's true. They saw the proof. I think you're the one nobody is gonna ever talk to again. How could you do this to me? I don't have a job! If my husband divorces me, how am I gonna support myself? I'll never find a job. I have no experience. And I'm not going to get anything from my husband in the divorce now that he has proof that I was cheating. And if all my friends stop talking to me, too. You've got to lie to everyone for me. Tell my husband and friends it was all just a joke. Yeah, that's it. An elaborate joke. Tell them we photoshopped that chat history. And they'll believe you. Sorry, I don't want to get involved in this any further. I never wanted to be a part of this in the first place. This is between you and your husband. Nicole, you have to do something. Please. I'll do anything you want. No thanks. If I were you, I'd start preparing for the worst. Oh no! I think my phone battery is about to die. Sorry, I have to go now. Bye. Hold on! Wait! Nicole! After that, Michelle and her boyfriend arrived at her house. Unfortunately for her, her husband was there waiting for them. He already had the divorce papers ready, along with a lawsuit for compensation money. 
Michelle's husband got full custody of Riley in the divorce. Her husband had changed the locks on the house and put the place up for sale, so Michelle had no place to go. She had to move into her boyfriend's tiny apartment. But because both her and her boyfriend were getting sued for compensation money, her boyfriend was furious. And they were always fighting with each other about it. It wasn't long before her boyfriend kicked her out of his place, and once again, she had no place to go. Her friends were disgusted with her and the way she abandoned her child, so they refused to help her as well. She came back to my house in a fit of rage. She started throwing things at my house, yelling and causing a big scene. I didn't really care, I just called the police and let them deal with it. She didn't even calm down after they arrived, and she ended up getting arrested. She abandoned her child, cheated on her husband, and somehow blames me for her divorce. The nerve of some people, huh? Hey, little sis. I need rent money. This is out of the blue. Are you moving out? If I wasn't moving out, I wouldn't be asking for rent money now, would I? Just answer the question. There's no need to be so sarcastic. I won't answer stupid questions, especially not when they're coming from you. What right do you have to ask me if I'm moving out when I just ask you for rent money? Ethan, calm down. Why are you always ready for a fight? Get this. You mentioned that you needed money for rent, and I wanted to know if you're moving out. What's so wrong about that? Everything. Don't get me annoyed any further. Just send me the rent money. I'm not your accountant, you know. You can be nicer when asking. Why should I be? You're my little sister. That's right. I'm your little sister who works her butt off to make a living while you demand for my hard-earned money as if you own it. Hey, don't act like you got the job yourself. Three years ago, I found the interview link online and sent it to you. Had it not been for me, you wouldn't have that job that makes you act so high and mighty. All you sent to me was one interview link, Ethan. And it was for the position for a mere secretary. It paid peanuts. I had to work my way up to my current position of assistant manager by myself. You didn't do that work for me. No matter what you say, you know it's true that without me, you wouldn't have gotten your fancy position as assistant manager. Now, get back to the matter at hand. When can I expect to receive the money? I need it by tomorrow morning. Have you even found a place yet? Or are you asking for rent money you would waste on nonsensical things? Wendy, you better stop getting on my nerves. I told you it's rent money. Why would I lie about that? Because this is the third time you're asking me for rent money, but you never moved out. You're still living in my apartment. This time, it's different, okay? Those other times, I invested in a business and made some expenses to get some things in order. You're lying through your teeth. Do you think you can play me for a fool? Just stop. Because you're my only brother and I care about you, I will send you the rent money you asked for. But know that this is the last time. I'm never sending you rent money again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Peace out. Ethan? Why is the house so messy? Did you throw a party here or something? Everywhere is so chaotic. You better reply. What is it this time? You're always such a bother. The house is a little messy and so what? You can clean it up. How can you say that to me? I just got back from a long day at work and I was looking forward to some rest in my apartment. But what do I return to? Utter chaos. And my big brother, who is supposed to have my back in a time like this, doesn't care. You make my life suck. <laughs> Think whatever you want. It's your problem, not mine. How can you say that? You are the one whose girlfriend came over three days ago and you said she was only going to stay one night. She's been at the apartment for three days and it doesn't look like she's planning on leaving. Both of you have been a nuisance. You play music all night long, and I'm unable to get a good night's rest. I told you about this, and you said you will keep the volume down, but you didn't. Even worse, I came home yesterday and found my room turned upside down. My wardrobe was ransacked, and my beige-colored new gown that I haven't worn yet was missing. Oh my god, you have so many complaints. You're turning into quite the nag. Are you even aware of that? It's all because of you, Ethan. You're making me a nag, and that's not fair. I've done nothing to deserve this. Hey, I'm not responsible for any of that. You're the one who takes everything so seriously and is unable to relax. I'm gonna give you this advice because I care for you. Get a man before it's too late. 
You might turn into a shrewd later and then they'll avoid you. Don't you dare butt into my love life. It's none of your business and we were talking about how yours is tormenting me. You deny that your girlfriend took my gown, but I saw on your WhatsApp status that she wore it out on your date. How could you have let her into my room, allowed her to go through my things and take whatever she pleases? How would you feel if the situation were reversed? Stop it already. So what? It's just one gown and you have plenty. She'll dry clean it and return it to you in one piece. Chill out. Hey, Wendy, I need a loan of $3,000. You have got to be kidding me. I'm not. There's a business opportunity that opened up and I want to invest in it. The ROI is huge. It'll change my life. No, I'm not loaning you one cent. You can forget about that business of yours. Are you sure about that, sis? Don't forget that I know something that can tarnish your precious career. What are you talking about? Let me refresh your memory a bit. Many years ago, you did something very bad, and I'm the only one who knows about it. Ring a bell? Ethan, don't do it. I'm your little sister for crying out loud. How can you even think of doing that to me? But I didn't do anything. Yet. And I won't do anything if you simply do what you're supposed to and loan me some money. You keep acting like I'm asking for so much. You make a lot of money. Why is it so hard for you to share some of it? What do you keep yapping about? I give you money all the time. I have to save some money too. Do you even realize this? Whatever. So, when can I expect the money? Let's talk about this for a bit. What business is this that you want to invest in? Is it real estate? Oil and gas? Cryptocurrency? It's none of those things. This is a new business. It's not very popular, but... Take my word for it when I tell you that it's highly profitable. I cannot take your word for anything, Ethan. You've never been trustworthy. Take, for instance, how you borrowed money for your rent from me for the third time, but you still live in my house? Jeez, you really hold on to things. It's a profitable investment. You won't regret loaning me the money. I highly doubt that. Can you guarantee that this business will be so profitable that you will never ask me for money again? You're just finding ways to get out of sharing your money. <laughs> Actually, I just remembered something important. Your girlfriend posted on her Instagram that she would be getting a liposuction. Are you getting a loan from me to spend it on that? Forget about it. I'm not giving you any money. I won't waste my hard-earned money on your girlfriend's liposuction. Go get it elsewhere. If you've forgotten what I know that can ruin your beloved career, I'll spill the secret I'm keeping and the consequences will be severe for you. Damn you. Go ahead and do whatever you want. Just know that I'll never bend to your demands. We'll see about that. <laughs> what did you do? Are you really not going to answer me right now? You deserve to be arrested for what you've done. Ooh, you must have received the notifications. My bad. Why are you so nonchalant and unrepentant? You stole my credit cards and spent the entire $2,500 left in them. I am shaking in anger as I'm typing this. Quiet down. You continually keep making a big deal where there is none. Didn't steal your credit cards. I knew they were in your purse, so I went there and took them. You took them without my permission. That is wrong on many levels, Ethan, and you know it. It's not. If we were related and I told you I needed a loan a few days ago, consider this money that loan. It's only a loan if it will be repaid. But you and I know that you never plan to repay me. Why should I? You're my provider. So long as you're there, I don't need to take out an actual loan. I can just take it from you and forget about repayment. It's so ideal, isn't it? No! Absolutely not! I am not your provider. You are my older brother by six years. You should be working to support me from time to time, not the other way around. Hey, listen up. You have a very good job where you get paid good money. I don't need to work because you already do. And guess what? I have every right to all of your money. Why? What you're saying makes no sense. You're seriously deluded and I'm so sick and tired of fighting with you. I got you the job. Don't ever forget that. I play my own part. Now it's your turn to play yours and provide. 
Stop whining about the money I spent. See it as my uh, allowance. After all, I deserve a monthly allowance from you for what I've done for you. You wear me out so much. I'll go stay over at a friend's house for a few days to catch a break. That's a good idea. Have fun. You know my birthday's coming up next week, right? Of course. What does that have to do with anything? I want a birthday present from you. Can you guess what it might be? I don't know. I'm not really in the mood to play your games. <laughs> I want a car from you as my birthday present. What? You must be joking. That is an outrageous demand. Do you know how much a car costs? Of course! I looked up the price. Yeah, it's a bit expensive, but I'm sure you can afford it. You do have your savings after all. There's a reason it's called savings. It wasn't intended to be spent recklessly. Buying a car for me isn't spending recklessly. I need it. You can't expect me to keep taking the bus and subway everywhere I go. I am of age to own and drive my own car and you're getting me one. Let me give you a better idea. Get a decent job. Save up some money. And get your own car yourself. For how long are you going to keep this up? Aren't you tired of leeching off of your younger sister? Hmm, I've never thought of it in that way. You're helping me out because you have more money, that's all. Also, stop telling me to get a job. I don't have to work when I have you. How many times must I repeat myself? So, about that car, I'll send you the spec and model I want so you can get it from a car dealer? No, I'm not getting you a car. I will do no such thing. You're really getting on my nerves. I'll really expose your secret that you embezzled company funds in your previous workplace five years ago. Who did I do that for? You. I was on the verge of losing you because you were so sick and needed money for surgery. There was no way to get that much money in such a short time. That's why I had to embezzle your surgery bills. I saved your life and this is how you were paying me? I am so disappointed in you. I don't care what you think of me. Just give me that car. You have two weeks to make me a proud owner of a car or else I'll expose your secret to your company. I bet they won't be so understanding and... What would you do then? You better buy me a car and save yourself the trouble. Hello? Wendy, are you there? You're not replying. You better reply to me right now or I'm gonna be so mad at you. Wendy, why is my stuff outside the apartment? Did you kick me out of your house? You can't do that. I'm your older brother. Let me, let me back inside. The door is locked and my key won't work. I've been banging away on the door but... You're not responding. Are you not home? If you don't let me back inside right now, I will destroy you. Do you hear me? I'm not playing games anymore. Oh, hey Ethan. Looks like you're enjoying my little surprise. Where are you? Me? I just got off a plane. What do you mean by that? Did you go on a business trip or something without informing me? No. Actually, I moved to Europe. I'm never ever returning to the States. I left your life for good. You can't do that to me. You know I can expose your secret and this is finally the time. Gosh, I'm so sick of your weak, empty threats. I was afraid of a weasel like you for no reason. Here's a fact. You have no evidence. Nada. Wait, there's more. I reached out to the owner of my former company, the one you oh so kindly love to remind me that I embezzled from. I confessed to him what I did and paid back everything I took. He was quite understanding and forgiving. Really holds no grudges against me. Lastly, I no longer work at my present company, the one that your interview link got me into. I got a new job and it pays three times more than my former job. You're not connected in any way to this business story, so there's no share for you in it. You will not get away with this. I'll find you and bring you back to where you belong. Oh no, I'm quaking in my boots. What will I ever do? Oh well, you're the world's greatest ingrate. I made numerous sacrifices for you, but you never for once appreciated any of it. Goodbye. W Wendy, ho hold on. W wait, we're not done talking. I really need your help. I have no money. Please help me. My goodness, he knows how to say please? been living on the streets these past few days and I have nowhere else to go. I haven't even had a proper meal in days. Don't you care about what happens to me? No, 
I don't. Once upon a time, I would have cared, but not anymore. You don't deserve it. If you're so hungry, go get any job, even if it's a dishwashing job. How can you suggest such a dirty job? It's beneath me. I can't do it. Instead, do, do me one last favor. S send me some money to invest in a business. I, I promise. It's for real this time. I, I won't waste it. I don't care about you anymore, older brother. You never cared about me, and you made the past couple years a living hell for me. I'm done with you. I'm so sorry, please. G g give me one last chance. Ethan continued to beg me, but I ignored him. Eventually, he got a job washing dishes, and I've heard from friends how miserable he looks. Sometimes, he opens fake Facebook accounts to leave hate comments on my posts, and it's so pathetic. The accounts all end up getting shut down by Facebook. As for me, I'm happily living my dream life and don't regret my decision to cut ties with my brother.